this is the most dangerous road in the US. There are no railings, just a sheer drop down. The million dollar highway connects Uray to Silverton in the Colorado mountains. This is actually more intense than I thought it would be. Like, seriously more intense than I thought it would be. And although only 25 miles long, over 400 people have died here in the last 30 years. With its winding roads and steep drop-offs, most accidents here end up fatal. In this video, we attempt to drive this road in our campervan Phoenix, but little did we know that our brakes would fail in the mountains, not once, but twice. A bit of a weird sound when I'm putting the brakes on, which I'm not liking at all. Not as we're going downhill. No. Make sure to subscribe to follow along on our epic Colorado road trip. Every great road trip has to start with a great breakfast and luckily the US is great at breakfast. For me, I work for the blueberry pancakes. For me, I'm always looking for the most outrageous thing on the menu <laughs> and today it is chicken fried steak <laughs> and that is steak covered in fried chicken kind of batter. This is breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> Today's road trip snack of choice is taffy. I and mean, we don't think we have this back home, do we? I don't think so. I don't know what to expect. So chewy. What's that all about? Mm. It's like a halfway between chewing gum and fudge. Yeah. thing we want to do is have these brakes fail in these mountain roads and it's very scary just the thought of the two of us but with the little man back there as well we have a bit of a bad track record when it comes to vehicles and we will not take any risks I've gone in to ask and it is definitely not good news oh no well the bad news is like for example here they can see us in three weeks and he said this is a small town everyone's gonna be weeks out because probably the likelihood is to do with the brake pads i'm gonna try calling around just on the off chance someone's had a cancellation but it's quite light, late in the day so even if we're lucky it'll be tomorrow but i mean i would take that yeah no idea at all oh hi i'm just coming through the area and basically my brake pads i think or brakes are playing up oh okay damn okay thank you uh, okay, no worries. Thank you very much. Three weeks. Let's try someone else. Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm not going to celebrate just yet, but they're about to close it in an hour. But okay, you... yeah, let's get ASAP. So it is the brake pads. So yep. very lucky that we stopped getting it fixed. Yeah. Gonna be safe. Yeah. There was a point where I really thought that this whole road trip was over. Yeah, when... definitely. When everyone was saying three weeks, we fly home in three weeks. <laughs> so we are leaving the van here tonight and they're gonna be working on it tomorrow morning. So we are gonna pack up our stuff. We're gonna go and find a hotel. Don't forget the taffy. <laughs> There actually happens to be a hotel just next door. We have no idea how much it's going to cost or if they even have any rooms free. What do you think? <laughs> I think it looks great. It's nice. Is it 250 bucks nice? I think our Britishness sometimes might come across like we're complaining a lot and that is because we are. <laughs> because it's our birthright <laughs> as a British person to be very negative. Moment of truth. <laughs> no. I guess it'll be whatever the local takeaway is. There'll probably be one option. It looks like we've got Gunnison's Pizza Company, Domino's Pizza or Mario's Pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're having pizza. <laughs> Mario's time. <laughs> what the hell is that? This is a Stromboli. Never had a Stromboli before. There's some funny names out here. It's like a cooked sandwich. Then we've got pizza feast. Mm. Lukewarm pizza. Why oh, is it not hot? <laughs> no. 
still haven't heard from the mechanic yet and it's time to check out of our lovely hotel and now I guess we just have to kill time while we're waiting. I don't know what we do if they can't do it today. We'll pay another $250 <laughs> to stay here. Oh my God. Come on mate, time, time to sit to in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? It's lobby time. I can see from the hotel that Phoenix is parked outside, which is either a good sign or a bad sign. I'm gonna go walk over there now to try and get an update. Happy days, they are only an hour away from finishing up. The brake pads are completely gone, but they also told me that it might need new calipers. Don't know what that means, but it sounds expensive, but apparently they don't need that. So it's just the brake pads. It shouldn't be as expensive as it was gonna be. The van is ready. And this is that weird purgatory moment where really, really happy that it's fixed, but also don't know <laughs> how much it's gonna cost. So just gonna enjoy this second before they rinse my wallet. Yeah, we currently have a fixed van and we've paid nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what was the damage? Was it 660? Something like that. Yeah, pretty good. I think like considering we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. Well, kind of in the middle of nowhere for us. Yeah. And there's nowhere else that would have seen us. So I kind of expected to be paying almost a thousand. Well, with the everything. accommodation, it was basically a thousand detour. Jeez. One of the frustrating things about this is we actually did put the van into service before we embarked on this road trip. And that's something they definitely should have picked up on. So very unimpressed. Very annoyed. Going to have to write a very strongly worded email. <laughs> Although we were a bit poorer, we were so happy to be safely back on the road again. Now, unfortunately, this would change later on that day, but for now, we were blissfully unaware and looking forward to continuing on our journey. First real test of the brakes. Hooray, no weird sounds and it actually works. We are about to do our first ever family hike. Fun fact about us is that when we first started on the channel, we lived in Thailand for about a year teaching English so that we could afford to travel and make videos. In Thailand, it was very, very common on very, very hot days that they would use umbrellas. And we always thought that that was genius way. And why wouldn't you use them for all different kinds of seasons? Yeah, so I'm taking the leaf out of their book today. I'm nice and cool in the shade, this is nice. I think it is our God-given right as parents to look as weird as possible in public. <laughs> what is that? Little raspberries. I recently did a survival course and there'll be a video coming soon and learn what I could pick and eat Mmm, try this. Oh wow, those are delicious. I'm kind of speechless really, like it's lovely. The thing that always wows me when we come to the US is just the vastness of it all. And there's just so many places that we've never heard of that are absolutely breathtaking. Mm. And here is an example of just another one just decided to pull over randomly for a hike and this is what we get <laughs> it's ridiculous i keep th saying that word like it's ridiculous but it is in that this isn't even a popular walk to be going on there's not like tons of people here yeah this isn't super busy it's a saturday today yeah and there's a couple of cars in the car park there's enough space for everyone don't see another soul i love the us for this though because it is so big and vast and there's so many different types of scenery and places that you can go you never really get bored did you have a nice time we were feeling relaxed and excited that was until our van had its next problem when it started pulling heavily to the right when applying the brakes. You won't believe this. I think we have a flat tire. <laughs> Two breakdowns on the same trip. I know. It's five o'clock. Luckily this place closes at six, so hopefully we can get it done 
before the end of the day and we don't lose another day. Big O tires. Come on, Big O. Make our day. The good news is that we didn't have a flat tire. The no. bad news is we've gone and spoken to them and it's likely to be the calipers. Those trusty calipers I was talking about earlier. The calipers which apparently we didn't need. Um, yeah. But and we did need. Yeah, so it sounds like oh, that's no what's being stuck because they said if it's pulling to the right a lot um, yeah so they can't do it until it's Monday today's Friday um, and that's first come first serve you just got to turn up early uh, I'm gonna look into other options now but oh uh, I've just gone and asked him there is it safe to drive and he said because we have fresh brake pads it should be safe to drive and fine okay. um, all that it might do is it might wear down one of the brake pads quicker um, okay so i think at least that might give us a bit of breathing room to figure stuff out yeah it means that we don't have to stay put for the night at least yeah. we can move on to the next place but what a that nightmare. was a good question to ask i would i wouldn't have thought to ask that yeah Whew. stressful We've made it safely to the campsite and I'm now doing a little test because to be able to tell if it's a color problem it's likely that the wheel would be extra hot on a specific part if there's an issue. And this one is noticeably warmer than the other ones. How are you feeling? F***ing exhausted. <laughs> what a day. <sighs> Jeez. We're trying to decide a plan of action. This is definitely going to put us out. From my googling, it's, if it's a stuck caliper, it can become unstuck. And if that's the case, like it would seem like it's fixed itself, but it will do it again and eventually will become a big problem. Big problem. I believe so. So it looks like we are going to be stranded here. Uh, unfortunately, as it's the weekend, it's busy, so we could only stay one night here. We're going to have to move around yeah. in the general area, waiting until Monday. But we can't be tackling that dangerous road with bad brakes. No. It's very difficult in these times of distraction to kind of stop and realize where we are for a second and take this all in as I'm very preoccupied at the moment and especially as a dad I can't stop thinking about how to make sure my family are safe and risks that I would have taken in the past I most certainly won't be taking anymore and so I've come for a walk just to come and see the place and it is stonking there is a huge lake over here that is beautiful with the sunset and then over there you've got green and then mountains with snow, even in this temperature, that is equally as beautiful as the lake. It's very easy in life to miss moments and try to get from A to B, which is what I'm trying to do now. And it doesn't make any difference in the situation if I sit here and enjoy it. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another chance to be back on the road exploring with my family. So for now, I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is, take it all in and breathe. It's a super early start today. Going straight to the garage that opens at eight. So we need to be there on the dot so we can be the first ones and then hopefully get seen. We have just arrived at the mechanics that is open on a Saturday, the only one that we could find, and they've agreed to look at the van, which is great news. And it's really cool looking actually, it looks like a proper like retro mechanics. It looks like something that belongs in the movies. It was a long day of waiting and waiting and waiting. We had no idea how long it was going to take and how much it was going to cost. But finally, eight hours later, we got called in for an update. They've shown me what's wrong with it. It is the caliper. Okay. Um, 
I think they have to redo the work that the other people have done, oh, I believe. No. Um, there's basically a load of things wrong. Uh, do you want to guess the price? God. Over a thousand, I reckon. Only just though, by about five dollars. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what an expensive few days. They showed me like the wheel and like one hand I can like spin it like super easy and then yeah. the one on the front yeah, left filthy. is uh, the one on the front left like won't move and basically yeah, super dangerous. <laughs> so Jeez. the beans are back on the road to fight another day. We are safely back on the road yes. and after a comically sized breakfast, <laughs> we are ready to explore again. And we are in the Switzerland of America. Yep. This is Ure and it really does actually remind me a lot of Switzerland. This place isn't just mountains and waterfalls, it's also really famous for its hot springs. So little Noah here is actually going to have his first proper swim here in Colorado in some hot springs. I have been dreaming of my first swim with Noah ever since he was born. And what a place to be doing it in. This backdrop, I'm so happy. In hot springs. Oh. The time. It's finally here. We are about to set off and do the most dangerous road. The most dangerous road in the US is called the Million Dollar Highway, reaching nearly two miles above sea level. Every year, a number of people die due to the unforgiving steep cliffs and sharp drop-offs with no barriers in place. And although only 25 miles long, over 400 people have lost their lives here in the last 30 years. Well, I think I know why there's so many accidents. Because it's so bloody beautiful. It is very distracting. It's very hard to keep my eyes just forward and not be like, what? Because it's constantly gobsmacking scenery. I'm already feeling very, very grateful that we managed to fix everything before this trip because the other day the van was pulling harshly to the right when we put on the brakes and a lot of the time there is nothing on the side so there was a chance that we could have just gone over the edge and it is such a steep drop down that we wouldn't stand a chance. How is it? I'm like so afraid of being too close to the right hand edge that I'm like driving along the bumpy bit in the middle of the road. <laughs> It is actually genuinely quite scary. I feel like it's especially scary because Noah's with us. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm very much on edge. This is very, very intense. I don't think the camera does it justice for how close you are to the edge. And as we're on the outside lane, like we are right next to it, and there are no railings and just a sheer drop down. This is actually more intense than I thought it would be. Like seriously more intense than I thought it would be. Yeah, same. It's quite nerve-wracking driving a big rig along here. Just when you think that the road can't get any more beautiful or you can't be surprised by the scenery anymore, you see this. This road was originally made for wagons and was the first road built through what was considered impassable cliffs in order to access lucrative mines in the area. We've done the most dangerous road in Scotland and that looks like child's play compared to this. Yeah. And just because it's raining for good measure as well, luckily it's only spitting at the moment and just hoping that it doesn't turn into a full-blown storm. We've got a storm. Yeah, it's a little bit worrying. I'm definitely driving slower than I was before. <laughs> it's so heavy. Eventually, the storm came to an end and we made it to Silverton, which marked the end of the most dangerous part of the road. We had officially made it across safely, ready for some exciting adventures on the other side. What a few days we've had. 
<laughs> we have made it safely over the mountain and I'll be honest this was a bloody tough week oh it really was like there was so much stress like I don't know if you guys could tell on the camera how much stress we were under because obviously when you're feeling super stressed you're not thinking to pick up the camera and film yourselves but we have had quite a stressful few days it cost us so much more than we thought oh, which has God. definitely set us back in a number of ways and we lost time but we're safe yeah we're happy exactly and we're ready to explore colorado once again let us know down in the comments what road trip disasters have you had or just missed and how <laughs> expensive was it oh god make us feel a little bit better about what we've been through <laughs> if you enjoyed the video give it a big fat thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for hopefully more fun and, and less, less breakdowns <laughs> less breakdown content and nothing left to say but thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time and beans out